Hi there, my name is Andres. Um, and today I'm gonna be doing a bit of a different video. I just wanted to show something I've been working on this past week. Um, you may not know this of me, but I am an enthusiast, uh, some, well, sorts of an amateur in computer graphics. I like to work in it and create things. So, uh, because this is some, somewhat of my hobby, I've been always fascinated by Pixar and its animated movies. From a movie perspective, as a, some, as a piece of entertainment, but also from a technical point of view. So, uh, that probably led to me one day sitting around thinking, I should probably create Wally. -E. So that's what I did. I just started up 3D Studio Max and started to make Wally. -E. And this is what I ended up with. Well, this is a preview image, like from one of the promotional materials you can find in the web. And this is how, well, my, the end result looks. Uh, at least in the editor itself. So yeah. Oops, the wrong button. So yeah. This is Wally in all his glory. Uh, let me even show you from different perspectives. Like here, you can see him from the back, from the side, from the other side, from the top, of the bottom, if you wish. So yeah. Um, Basically, what uh, basically he consists out of a lot of different parts of th that are connected one to each other. For example, I can I don't know take a piece of his neck, start to rotate it, and the rest of the head will rotate with him. Or I can take the main body, start to move it, and it will move the all the other parts also. Uh, I started actually by creating his main body from a box. Then I made his neck up to the head and eyes. Then I made one arm and copied it over to the other side. And then I made one leg and copied it over to the other side. Actually, his arms initially were not here, but here, and straightened out. He's like in this T pose, and then he's just placed in the correct position. So yeah, but well, modeling was somewhat easy because it just maybe the body, the main body itself, was a bit hard, but everything else came easy. Well, again, maybe except the uh, the legs because there's no real. Oh, an uh, image that shows how the leg is structured or how, how does it look like so I kind of made my interpretation of it as you can see you can see some parts of it but some things are hidden from you especially here this part from at the bottom so another image is not do a good job of showing the legs as, you, as one would like so yeah a lot of it was to my interpretation. Uh, then, when everything was made, uh, the texture started. That probably was the hardest part because uh, you cannot get the actual textures for Wally, so I had to make everything from zero, from scratch. Some textures I used uh, that I found on the internet, but for the most part, they were made by me by hand, basically, like. Like for example, this front panel, like here, like it just has an orange base to it, and then on a new layer, I added using special brushes. It can be easily found on the internet through Google. I added this rust and dirt and everything you can see, in even some of the details, like here. I tried to somewhat refer. Uh, look at the pictures on the internet. Like as you can see here, Wally has a big chunk of rust in the middle, and everything is on the sides. Well, again, in my in my version again, most of the rust is on the sides, and there's this 
a piece of it in the middle. And of course, the, a dirty Wally, lo, Wally logo itself. So that's how it was created. Uh, all the other textures you see were created, except for some that again were just found on Tinder, for, on the internet. Uh, well, and then every texture has a uh, diffuse map, well, well, the colored version of it. Then I went on to make a black and white bump map for it. Like so, because initially I made, uh, I started out by using bump mapping for additional detail. Then I switched to displacement mapping, but the, with my settings on it, the results were practically unnoticeable. Well, they were not so different from bump, but displacement is a lot more heavy on the resources, so I switched back to bump mapping. But then, at the end, I decided to use something in between and use normal mapping. Um, all the images are are in seven seven hundred sixty eight by seven hundred sixty eight but normal maps are five hundred twelve by five hundred twelve because they had to be made in max and to save resources and time I made them a bit lower resolution. But the end result it doesn't impact the end result that drastically. So yeah. Uh I'm so practically every texture most of the textures have a diffuse map, a bump map which then became useless and <laughs> a uh, normal map. Well, I used bump maps to make normal maps. So you kind of need them anyways. So yeah. So these are some of the reference material I used. Actually, just most of them are for posters or for wallpapers or any other promotional material. One actually is a screenshot taken from GameSpot, as you can see. And then another one is actually someone made a model of Wally himself, but it's actually not uh, not how Wally looks like in the cartoon. Like there is some resemblance to it, but I I try to make as close to the real thing as possible. Again, it's not one to one, but it's a lot more closer than this. So this image in the end became useless. Although at first, the, ooh, this will become handy because you can see the topology of it, and then I. Looked at it again and said, fuck. Uh, so yeah. This is the amount of textures I used uh, to texture Wally. And the end result I made and downloaded st uh, staggering 99 image, close to 100. I thought they were a bit less. <laughs> but yeah. Some of them are not used, some of them were used as a base for other textures, some are used for experimentation, like at the start I even tried to go and make, to use a singular texture just for all, for the main body itself and then it went, but as you can see, well, I've, the front panel has a lot of detail, like here, the texture on the side has very little detail, so I switched to singular textures like this one, for instance. Uh, so yeah, and this is how basically some of the steps, like again, I made the main body itself, modeled the back, and then I had only one image for the back. <laughs> uh, so again, a lot of improvising was used. Uh, then I modeled the neck and the head. Uh, this is a cog from the wheels. I modeled the arms, copied it over to the other side, and I, I modeled one leg and copied it over to the other side. And then I just textured, started texturing everything, and this is what I ended up with. This is the render for now for my PC. So yeah. Uh, now I actually started working on Eve, I will probably make the cockroach and then I will make uh, the scene itself, but I think for now the hardest part is all it was, which is was making Wally himself. So yeah, like I can actually show you Eve. No, I don't want to say because then many changes. So yeah, this is Eve, as you can see she is much simpler, because basically she has 
a very simple body, a very simple head, and two arms. And she's all white, for except the black eyes or blue eyes, so texture will be easy also. So yeah, this is it. So, if you have any suggestions or, or ideas that you can give me, be feel to share them in the comments. Uh, or if you have any requests or ideas for future scenes or graphical work I can do, again, feel free to share. But that's probably going to be it for me. So, again, my name has, is, and probably always will be Andres. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day. Bye!